today we're going to talk more about the Aishima Back to the Future 3 DeLorean. That's coming up right after this. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and you're watching Jason's Model Shop, your source for scale modeling tips, tricks, and techniques. What do you say we jump right into it? So I'm going to start doing the wiring and the passenger compartment. It's really just a matter of laying it down in the pattern I want. Uh, I use white glue to hold it down because it's a decent bond and uh, as you can see from this area here, it dries nice and clear. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that and come back and show you the results. I run all my individual wires, harnesses, etc. just to give interior a slightly better look than the molded wires. This piece goes here, but they don't bond directly because this goes into the this goes into the body first, and then the cabin gets installed, so we can't really put those wires directly to it. But I'm pretty happy with that. Working on the driver's side, I already added the uh, supplemental wiring to the rear portion. Then we have to do this part that goes up over the front wheel well and into this guy. But this needs some slight modification before we can we can do that. The primary wire we're leaving, but we need to trim out in the secondary so we have somewhere to run the supplemental wiring. You can do this with any trimmers or a knife. I like these flush cutters. There's the bottom. And the top. We'll paint this up, install it, and then run the wiring. After wrapping the wire, it was just a matter of I use CA to lock down the end, a bit in the middle, a bit at the top, and then just use the tweezers to bend the wire to get to go to the socket. Sometimes, as you'll see here, sometimes you get a bit of crystallization from the crazy glue. I'm just going to go back over that very lightly with uh, some black paint and a fine brush. Now we're going to do the last major sub-assembly, and that is the reactor vents. I've went ahead and filed down where it attached to the sprue. Even with the flush cutters, sometimes you still get a little bit of a, a lump there, so that's all filed down. We're going to assemble the halves, do the filling, and then install the uh, baffles. <music> vents have had a chance to cure and we saw this problem with the seam here it's pretty visible now this has a really good fit there's no serious gap there's not a huge step between the two halves so instead of using filler we're going to do something else we're going to sand the surface get that smooth and the if there is any gap the styrene dust from the standing should fill that and then we're going to apply a little bit of uh, plastic cement over that. I'm going to do that for the other two seams on this, but once that dries we're going to wet sand it and apply some gunmetal gray and it should be hardly noticeable or not noticeable at all ideally. Here is one completed bent assembly. The, uh, although it looks difficult, the actual baffles are quite easy to assemble. The only minor complexity is you may have to shift them a little bit to get them straight once they're inside the assembly. However, it's pretty straightforward. You got a slot here and a slot here. Just slide them in. And repeat two more times, and install, and uh, adjust as necessary. Alright, I think that's going to do it for today. If you guys have any questions about today's build or model making in general, please leave them in the comment section down below. You can also find me on social media. Those links are in the video description. If this is your first time here, uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'd very much love to have you subscribe. Don't forget to check back every Wednesday for new videos where I share the techniques I use to build scale models. Hopefully there are some things that you can pick up from me that you can apply to your own builds. That's what this channel is about after all. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Wednesday.